on the Good Morning Artesia Radio Show. I was just babbling on about garbage with uh, our <laughs> guests. Hey, hey. Technology. I, did you know if you can go into Kith and Kin today, you can order your uh, pies and or dinner rolls for Thanksgiving dinner. Mm. I heard that. He yeah. said leave the pro- Professional pie make, leave the pie baking to the professionals. Yes. Yes. That's right. So uh, I went over and ordered cheesecake yesterday mm. and a bag of dinner rolls. Do you have a list of flavors for us? I do. Pumpkin pie cheesecake. Yes. Oh. <laughs> she likes regular pumpkin yes. pie, apparently. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> I got excited for just, just a second. Like, yes. Oh. This is not the whole list. Okay. okay, okay there's more. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Uh, maple pecan pie. Yes. Pumpkin pie. Woo! <laughs> I'll take two. I'll take two. Uh, apple caramel pie. Yum. Pumpkin roll. Mm-hmm. And then the uh, bag of a dozen dinner rolls. Yummy. But you have to order before Saturday. And you can order online through the website. Uh, or you can walk in and order. And they've got a little clipboard with some sheets on it. And then do you want to have yours ready to be picked up? <laughs> He's got a tire. Um, <laughs> um, he lost a bet. <laughs> He's a Cowboys fan. so. Let <laughs> you know. um, but you have to order by Saturday. And then they'll be baking on Monday for orders to be picked up on Tuesday. And then they'll be baking on Tuesday for orders that'll be picked up on Wednesday so you have your Thanksgiving meal all taken care of. Nice. So, so pumpkin pie for Coxie. Yes, please. Which mm. one for you? Either the pumpkin cheesecake or the uh, fancy pecan one. What was it called? Well, there's maple, maple pecan, pecan and yes. pie. So that's a pretty good one there. My too. favorite is pecan pie and I've never thought about a maple pecan pie. Mm. Well, there yeah. you go. I'll take one of those too. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm not buying them. <laughs> you just said that. Rob's going to put you on the list. You're going to get a phone call. and That would be okay. Okay. Yeah, that would be okay. <laughs> I'll really take them. It's all good. All right. Kith and Ken, downtown Artesia. But get, get by and get your order because I went in yesterday to order ours. And there's already names starting to get on the, on the lists there. So go uh, go check it out, Kith and Kim. They're going to be busy. Yep. Let's hope so. Yeah. Let's yeah, hope so. That's cool. And then I had a pumpkin spice latte while I was there. So. Yummy. It was, uh, it was excellent. Good. All right. Uh, chamber chat time. And we, uh, you want to talk, we talked about how I can't figure out the at thing. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let that deter you though. The rest of the world. Go comment on our post. You'll be all right. But you You'll can, be all right. you, but you can still just, you can still just come <laughs> go into the chamber yeah. with yeah. 20 bucks and buy a ticket, yes. right? Yes, okay. you really can. All you right. don't have to just buy one either. Okay. I mean, I know it only takes one to win. But buy as many as you think yeah. uh, mm-hmm. that you need. That's right. Mm-hmm. Excellent. Uh, you want to talk about a new member? Yes, we have two new members. Okay. Well, we already kind of sh- gave a shout out to T-Mobile. But um, we have another new member, Dirty D's Customs. Now, okay. don't think it's as dirty as you think, you know. Well, how, do you, how do you, what do you think I think is Anyway, don't... We can't say that on the air. What? Um, that was a close one. <laughs> All right, I had to bite you, my tongue. We almost got in trouble for this a while back. <laughs> Years ago. We talked about something naughty on the air. And nope. It's like, yeah, no, we can't do that. Yeah. So, okay. Dirty D's Customs. <laughs> they make all kinds of stuff. And I changed that word. Okay. From their original post. Okay. Even the personalized kind. Okay. They do like laser lasering. They can do leather, glass, um... These Yeti cup type oh. mugs, they can mm-hmm. do um, uh, laser like engraving. Wood. Uh-huh. Okay. So cool. uh, a lot of the stuff that they've been posting lately is super cute for um, Christmas. Mm-hmm. They're doing like custom gift tags out of little wood and they like engrave all the stuff and they even will get your name of your child and it'll say it's from... You Santa. know, who and whatever, and then you just tie it to your gift if you want, like, one big Santa gift or something. Okay. So it's, like, different, you know, because it's from Santa. Um, they have w- one thing that I wish my kid was much smaller. Um, they have shoe prints, like boot prints that mm-hmm. they've cut out, and then you put it on the floor, and it, in the insole, 
or like in between the top and the bottom, it says Santa or something like that, Santa Claus. Mm-hmm. So then you put like baby powder on the floor, and mm-hmm. it looks like Santa was walking across the floor. It's so oh, cute. Okay. <laughs> um, the, I mean, just little things that are like thinking outside the box. But um, of course, they can do all customized stuff like for your business. If you want to give gifts to your employees, then you want your business logo or sponsor things like that so okay yeah it's um they are mostly on facebook i was gonna say do they have a storefront or are they just uh, online i think mostly? eventually they will yes okay. um but i haven't finalized that with them yet um but their creations are on facebook or also there we have a website dirty d's with ds customs.com okay dirty ds customs.com okay check it out yeah so if they have a virtual location do you do a virtual ribbon cutting we sure could yeah no we'll probably have it at the chamber we have that for people at the chamber quite often like if they have a home hobby business or Mm -hmm. something yeah we'll do their ribbon cutting at the chamber like we did that for damsel in defense yep just not too long ago yep and she had all of her yeah displays we so we have this room in the chamber Mm -hmm. that we it's been called the cow room because we used to have Betsy in there, Bessie in there. Okay. And, but it's the most... I take it Bessie is a cow. Be- yeah, mm-hmm. she's a cow. not a previous employee. <laughs> not a, yeah. And she has a screen on her where she used to show, like, where does milk come from? Okay. A little video. <laughs> the she's, store. She's Everybody broken Everybody knows that. She's broken now, but <laughs> it, was a, it was informational about the dairy industry. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so she used to be in that room. Okay. Well, this video would play on a loop, mm-hmm. and poor Debbie had it memorized and it's like driving her crazy well this was also in the most echoey so is this the Debbie that's at the Best Western Best Western yes. so if you walked in and saw Debbie and said where does milk come from she would know she oh and would she know. also in 1705 it started in Wisconsin <laughs> <laughs> she also grew up on the dairy so she does know where milk comes from that, that's what I thought um, I bet Debbie broke Bessie I bet she on purpose baseball like bat mm-hmm. <laughs> you can only take so much I know, right? She, um, <laughs> anywho, this room where mm-hmm. she was is it? We ca- we call it the cow room now, mm-hmm. but it's um, the most echoey room of the entire. Like you could stand in this room, and every you could, everyone can hear you okay. all over the place, right? All so right. lots of people have wanted to have their office in there because it's beautiful. It's all windows, mm-hmm. but yeah, no, you would never be able to have a private conversation. Yeah. So fast forward to our damsel in defense. Ribbon cutting. cutting. Okay. <laughs> and she's use, we're using all the, not tasers. What does she call them? Basically tasers. And well, they're tasers probably a brand name. So there's probably, their patent probably ran out. So there's yeah. probably. Yeah. She kept having to correct me and I yeah. still don't remember. But it was yeah. so loud. <laughs> Rob comes out. <laughs> running. <laughs> like, what is happening in Because <laughs> it was echoing through yes. the whole building. Oh my building. gosh, the yes. whole thing. It was so loud. It was so funny though. Yeah. It was cool. But it's a beautiful space for a ribbon cutting, so feel free yes. to come to us. Okay. If if you have uh, if you don't have a brick and mortar location and you want to be a chamber member and you want to do a ribbon cutting, mm-hmm. you can accommodate. Mm-hmm. So Absolutely. Or sometimes people aren't ready to do like their storefront. They want to go ahead and start selling things or whatever. The storefront's mm-hmm. not complete. They're not ready for us to come. They want to paint the front door still, whatever. So they can do it. At the yeah. Chamber, Excellent. Like, mm-hmm. That's yeah. a good thing to provide. So welcome to our new members. Yes. Yes. And uh, then I guess the other thing, um, we've got the the uh, light up artesias coming up, and you mentioned the chamber buck Rocking. promotion. Yes, that's coming up. When do you draw the winners for the chamber bucks, and what is it? One person getting two thousand and twenty one dollars. Yes, sir. And or then we'll are have there multiple winners. Just one grand prize, and then we'll have five one hundred dollar winners. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, so it's there's actually twenty five hundred and twenty one dollars being given away. Mm-hmm. Yes, <laughs> she's doing the math in her. I know. I was too. like twenty six, twenty nine. Yes, correct. Yes, twenty five, twenty one. No, I was we're doing excited. the same thing. You know, did I get this right or did I have a <laughs> you did. wrong good. number? Yes. So, so um, we will draw when we sell them all. Okay. So get buying them. Yeah. Yeah. Hurry up. Hurry, hurry up. That way we can get this <laughs> Christmas, Christmas is coming on the way. Yeah. Yeah. No. Um. But yeah, light up Artesia coming up the thursday after thanksgiving it's always a thursday after thanksgiving Mm -hmm. so this year it lands on december 2nd okay it's awesome um we got we were getting calls like a month ago about this people are 
I don't know if they're already ready to do they need time to do their creations or what, but we've been getting lots of calls about it. So it's going to be fun. Good. All up and down Main Street. Shops will be open late. Um, restaurants. Restaurants. There will be, <laughs> right, knock on wood. There will be um, booths. Mm-hmm. People can be vendors in front of the storefronts if they like. Mm-hmm. Um, but you can sign up at artesianmainstreet.com. Okay. If you want to be in the parade or if you want to be a vendor. It's all right there. Well, I saw they're putting up the uh, Christmas decorations, so those yes. are those oh are. Oh my gosh! I saw the lights in October. They started putting them on, mm-hmm. and uh, my daughter she worked down at Heirloom Acres, so when we'd pick her up from work, and it was dark, we'd come down Main Street. It's so pretty. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I love it. And Santa will be there. Oh yeah. Well, that was the rumor. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's what Elizabeth said Monday. Is that there's a good probability that Santa will be there. It's gonna make. But his she appearance. had not heard back from Santa. Ah. She hadn't heard from Santa or the elves, so her people had not heard from Santa's people. But wow. she was she was hoping to hear from them soon. It takes a while to get letters from the North Pole. Yeah, back. Yeah. I wonder yeah. why. Don't they have email? I mean. <laughs> <laughs> don't they I don't have know. DM? Right. <laughs> <laughs> They're pretty old school. I don't know. <laughs> they probably still have a rotary dial telephone. What's the difference between DM and PM? Well, DM I understand to mean direct message. And PM means private message. And PM means post meridian. Or <laughs> if you're over fifty, you say PM. If you're under fifty, you say DM. Okay. Okay. You got to be hip and with it. I feel like. I don't know. What what I'm what I are, what are like we supposed to use? If you want to be cool, it's DM. Okay. I don't know why. That's the only one I ever heard. I didn't know there was a PM. You're so cool, Gene. No, <laughs> I am not. He's hip and whip it. <laughs> you saw what happened when well. I put at in my uh, comment <laughs> section. It went nowhere. Nowhere. <laughs> no, I, I honestly it used to be PM for private message me, and then all of a sudden it just changed to DM, and I didn't know what. what. It's because you got older. <laughs> Same thing happened to me. I feel like it's just the times changed. <laughs> Yeah, it's true. <laughs> well, that's DST and MST. <laughs> you said the times change. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Got it. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I have one of those. The only one I have is is uh, Joe Biden saying, come, come on, on, man. man. <laughs> that would have worked. That would have worked, too. Come on, man. Uh, well, that's it is funny. an exciting time of year trying to, to get all this yes. stuff uh, I, can I do away. a shout out really quick? Absolutely. So I'm wearing another thankful shirt today. Okay. I mean, it is Thanksgiving next week. Yes. That's crazy. Is that next week? News alert. Order your pies. Yes. Uh-huh. Next Thursday. Yeah. But I really am wearing this shirt because I want to say a huge thank you to all of our sponsors for Balloons and Tunes last weekend. It was... Such a success. Oh, my goodness. We had the best time. We had... Record attendance at the park. Mm-hmm. We had record attendance for the bowl at the growl. Um, I mean, we had beautiful weather. I loved how you said chamber weather. Friday wasn't so great, but Saturday, Sunday was wonderful. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I mean, we couldn't have asked for a better weekend, better sponsors. But I mean, we're just we just have to say a huge, huge thank thank you. The community that supported us, the sponsors that supported us in any aspect. I mean, we had sponsors that sponsored just the growl or just you know a friday flight from one of the schools or you know different aspects of Mm -hmm. of different things so um yeah it was it was really awesome it was was coxie's first event so it was great yeah it was really cool you set the bar high well it was when that your first balloon ride too Mm -hmm. yes that was cool it was beautiful it wasn't what i expected you didn't really feel like you were moving but it was gorgeous. Mm-hmm. It was cool. Okay. Yeah. No, no, it, it, uh, it's, a, it's a lot of fun. I tell you, the one thing that still freaks me out is if you are standing at the base of a tall tower mm-hmm. on a partly cloudy day, and those clouds are moving across the sky, you stand at the base of the tower and look straight up, you swear that tower's fallen over as those clouds are moving across. I have never experienced that. Yeah, just go to the base of a big tower on a partly cloudy day and look straight up at the sky you know at, with the tower you can see the tower and and you're gonna have a vertigo yeah it's gonna say do you gonna, feel like you have to like grab onto something yeah yeah it's <laughs> it's uh it's crazy feeling i had somebody ask me last night if i climb towers i said no <laughs> no 
there are people that do that, mm-hmm. and I know them. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. We're thankful for their safety every day. We're thankful mm-hmm. for their safety. So, well, good. Well, what else do we need to talk about here? Is there anything else that uh, is coming up? Well, that do we have five you, minutes? We have uh, four minutes. Four minutes. Yes. Three uh, minutes. There in. is a turkey trot this weekend. Okay. Yes, this weekend, uh, November 20th. All right. The Pecos Running Club has partnered up with Artesia Aquatic Center, and they are doing, you can run a marathon, or you don't have to. You can just come out and have fun. Okay. Um, they even have, like, a kids, you can do, like, um, bike only, run only, swim only. You could do triathlon, all of it. You can do kids version, or you could just do a cute little turkey trot 5K and just have fun. Um, but they're starting it at the aquatic center. Mm-hmm. They'll swim first, then bike, and then run. They will. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Good. So if anybody wants to participate in that, uh, do you have a contact? I do. Well, I have a, I have a link. Okay. So it's on, if you get it's the in the chamber chat. Chamber chat. Yes. Okay. Um, if you don't get chamber chat, holler at us, mm-hmm. Jessica at artesiachamber dot com, and I'll get you signed up. Um, but yeah, no, this is really cute. They have different age groups. So they'll give awards for all the different, I think it's like every 10, so 20 to 29, 30 to 39, 40, you know, gotcha. and then 14 and under, 15 to 19, that kind of stuff. Okay. So it'll be really cute. I think yeah. that'll be fun. Um, go work off your turkey before you eat your turkey. Be prepared to accept more turkey. Yes. Um, also, Toys for Tots. Okay. There's a few locations around town, but the main one I know of that I actually went and dropped stuff off on last week mm-hmm. was at CBE. Okay. So they are located just at 13th and Ritchie, kind of right in there, uh, 1403 North 13th, if you really want their address. But they have a big box just right there in their lobby. Okay. Don't wrap your gifts. Don't wrap them? It must be new, but don't wrap it. Okay. Because they want to make sure it's going to go to someone like... They're not going to give a five-year-old an infant's toy. Ah. They and is it, make sure it's age appropriate. is it all ages? They accept? It's all ages, okay. yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Baby through mm-hmm. whatever. Mm-hmm. 70. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Jean needs to get on the list. So that's going to be... There, Why there. did you assume it was me when I said <laughs> 70? I don't know. I should <laughs> Let me count the ways. <laughs> well, because you, I didn't mean it like you're 70. <laughs> if you'd go all the way up to 70, I thought maybe you just want to be included. That's kind of where I was getting at. Sorry, Jean. <laughs> we love you still. That's okay. But no, uh, CBE, great place to drop off those toys. They have it already now through December 3rd is all. So. A lot of these toy drives are wanting to get the toys here pretty quick because yes. they want to get them distributed before Christmas. Yeah, they have Christmas, to sort so. it all and, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, and then there is coming up is the uh, Yucca Blossom Christmas Jamboree. Mm-hmm. That's December 11th and 12th. Yep. Let's see what else there is. I guess that's, and I mean, we're, last we're night was be the there pregnancy for that. help center stuff. Good. We're, we're going to be there at the Yucca. Yucca Blossom thing. Mm-hmm. Cool. Jamboree. I think. I what think, are you doing out there? Just to, like, I think uh, music. Doing a radio remote and encouraging people to come out, and then turning our PA system over to whatever Christmas music they want to listen to. Cool. So I got to work on my Christmas playlist. Hey, I started working Man, on that roller. yesterday. Man, I'm steamroller. <laughs> Trans Siberian Orchestra. Trans Siberian Orchestra. Can I? Sh- can I send? Uh, I have a. I have one. And then Fossils and Foxes has a new album, but you got to like buy it. Fossils like, and I don't, Foxes. I don't want to buy it. I want to. Yeah, it's a bunch of old coots that play the music and some young ladies that sing. I have They're five big. songs on mine. Five songs I on your playlist. I started yesterday as well. <laughs> okay. Uh, All right. Pentatonics. Oh, that's a good one too. Mm-hmm. Great Christmas mm-hmm. music. All right. Okay. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having us. All right.